Systems architecture refers to the parts of the computer. So for example, the processor, the memory, some IO expansion ports, and the buses that connect all those together. If we were to go inside the CPU, we would see things like caches, arithmetic logic units, and control units. And these execute the fetch, decode, and execute cycle when a program runs. My name is John Easton, and I work for IBM. I use systems architecture on a daily basis when designing computer systems to solve client problems. Different applications have different requirements. Some might need more memory to run, some might need more computing power. And so I need to be able to understand the system's architecture in order to be able to choose the right hardware to solve a specific client problem. I solve problems on a daily basis. I work with organizations, try and understand what it is that they're trying to do, and then build computer systems to solve those. So for example, a system that runs an airport make sure that planes arrive on the right gates, fuel gets to the plane, catering gets to the plane, and the luggage gets successfully back to the passengers after they've arrived. Someone who likes solving problems might want a job like mine. I work with lots of different people in lots of different companies, in lots of different countries, and together we collaborate in order to solve a particular problem. I see lots of different and interesting problems to solve, and I build computer systems to do that. We work together to solve the problem and make the world a better place. If you think about my career, I'm constantly having to learn new things. Technology changes at a very rapid pace. So I'm needing to pick up new skills, take on board new technologies and new ways of solving problems. So for example, if we look at the computer systems we have today, they are very, very different from the ones that existed when I started my career, and the ones that I'll be dealing with in the future will be different again. There are lots of things that I enjoy about my job. I like it when we actually build a system and it goes into production and people start using it. Understanding what an organization is trying to do, designing and building a system, and then putting that into production and having people actually use it for real. That's the most satisfying part. We've solved many problems to get there because things don't always work first time, but we've got something that's successful and works at the end. The best part of my career to date was being part of a team that built what was at the time, the largest supercomputer on the planet. We took new technology, both hardware and software, and brought that together into a system for the American government that we used to solve big high-performance computing problems, such as climate change. The most fulfilling part of my volunteering is working with young people and helping open their eyes to the range of opportunities and jobs within the IT space. It's not just about coding. So if I can open people's eyes, show them the range of opportunities that are there, then maybe we can encourage more people, particularly youngsters and particularly girls, to work in IT and work in technology.